So, you know, I love to blog. I, I, really, I really wish I could take the camera sometimes in my real world so y'all could really see what goes on. You know what I'm saying? Instead of telling a story, I really wish that, like, y'all could really see, like, what really going on. Because all that love and hip-hop bullshit, that shit fake. My shit be real. So, let me tell y'all. Okay, I know I done told y'all about my roommate about a billion times, how this nigga got a girl and this and that and that's this. Okay. The nigga got a girl, whatever. Me, I'm I'm cool. I'm like the coolest person ever. The coolest person ever. And I told y'all this on plenty of my videos too. You know what I'm saying? If you my friend, you mean you my friend for life. You know what I'm saying? But this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck is his problem. But I just know we probably just need to just get away from each other before one of us do something because one thing you not go do is you not go keep threatening me you not go keep doing that you know what i'm saying and i'm steady being a friend and i'm steady trying to trying to be there or trying to get this shit sorted out so you know what i'm saying everybody can be comfortable now if i made it if if if, if i helped you out when you was down you know what i'm saying don't try to bail out on me because you got a bitch you know what I'm saying? And don't motherfucking threaten me either. Okay, so this is the story right here. I'm going to tell y'all the story. His bitch been coming to pick him up every weekend. Every weekend, she pull her ass up. She pick him up. I don't say nothing. Sometimes they pick up down the street. I don't say nothing. I let them. He get in the car. He go. Whatever, whatever. Now, when it's time to drop off, he be driving. They switch drivers. I could be sitting out on the porch. They switch drivers or whatever. I see them all the time. Switch drivers. No, nothing ever happened, right? Okay. So let's keep this story moving along. I have a friend. My friend was having some problems. So I'm like, shit, we could chill. You know what I'm saying? We could chill in my garage because my garage is clean and shit. We can go, to, go take your shower. We could chill. You know what I'm saying? Smoke one, blow one, drink one, you know what I'm saying? We in a garage, I ain't got to worry about smoking in the house, you know what I'm saying? And just kick back and chill. I don't fuck all my niggas. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Some Sometimes I could just be chill with my niggas. Like, I don't know what these niggas think. Like, I fuck every nigga? Bitch, I don't fuck every nigga. Come on now. So anyway, me and my friend chilling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We chilled all day or whatever. So then it was time to go home. So my friend he we got in the car he we went home he my a roommate he went to work or whatever so he calls me right and he say i should shoot up your garage because i think that's kind of disrespectful for you to have for you to be chilling in a garage with your friend and i'm thinking in my head did this nigga really just say this after you had your bitch come pick you up here like a couple of times and then you you spend a night over her house oh not to mention the nigga told me that he was going to marry her next um next winter okay so if you about to get married to a woman next november why are you worried about what i'm doing in a garage with my friend like we kicking it why is you worried about if you get married next year and then that ain't even the that ain't even this the killer part right here. The nigga threatened me and told me I'm being disrespectful and he go go get his cousins and shoot up my garage. But you still living in my house. And your bitch still gotta pull up to pick you up this weekend. Now that'll be wrong as fuck if I take a rock in my backyard and when she pull up, I throw that bitch and put a big ass dent in her new car. That would be bold as hell, right? But it was okay for him to threaten me and talk about you gonna shoot up my motherfucking garage. Bitch, you really don't even know how motherfucking crazy I really can be. Nah. If you don't want no problems, and I know you watch my videos, if you don't want no problems, I promise you, I promise you, homeboy, I promise you, on my mama, because you have threatened me too many times, if your bitch pull up, I'm going to fuck her car window up. I'm going to throw a brick through her motherfucking window. 
Because you keep fucking with me and you don't think that fat meat is greasy. You think that I'm so motherfucking nice. See, that's the thing about nice people. Motherfucking nice people, they will go out their way to help you out. But then we got y'all stanking ass motherfuckers that just push us up to our limit. Y'all push us in the corner till there's just no other way to get out but to lash back the fuck out. Now, you, now, you, now your bitch come pick you up every weekend with no problem. Why would you want to fuck that up? You better tell that bitch to meet you at the corner or something. Because I promise you, I'm going to be super petty when she pull up because of the shit you did. When I had my friend, he was there, he going to say, oh, ain't that cute. Okay, you think that's cute? Wait till your bitch pull up. You better tell that bitch to meet you around the corner. Because I promise you, if I'm sitting outside and she pulling up, I'm walking up to that car. And you don't know what the fuck I'm going to say. You don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Because I I said I hit it. I, I said I'm, I want to throw this brick through our windshield. That's what I said I want to do. But my mind is telling me, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be smoother about the shit. Be slicker about the shit. Tell her, t- tell her the man that she want to marry, the man you want to marry, is threatening me because I got male company. Why the fuck do this nigga care if I got male company? Why the fuck do you... You got a whole woman that you fucking... Not to mention, you leaving y'all condoms around my house because you won't throw the shit away at the motherfucking motel. You leaving condom wrappers, motherfucking um, erectile dysfunctional pills to get your dick hard, leaving capsules laying everywhere. And what am I doing? I'm throwing the shit away. I could have been dog checked you about that shit, but I did. I just threw the shit in the garbage. But you want to threaten me because me and my friend was talking about making this having a discussion about my garage about fixing it up like i really am thinking about doing that like that shit is like so dope like and i drove past one today and i seen one that was really fixed up and i'm thinking like damn i never even thought about like you motherfucking get some heaters and shit because my shit is really motherfucking if you really hooked it up it could really be a potential like little spacey space you know what i'm saying where you could i could chill out instead of having my when motherfuckers want to smoke hey we can go in the garage sit on the couch and watch tv out there put the heaters on and smoke rather than do it i don't do it in my house you know what i'm saying but that was the conversation that me and my friend was talking about looking around seeing what you know what i'm saying what 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 could be fixed what could be improved about it and this nigga sitting up here talking about shooting me through my motherfucking garage like what the fuck who would say that old bipolar ass shit not to mention you talking about you want to shoot me through the garage because i'm being disrespectful but your bitch been coming over here picking you up in front of my house you been getting out the driver's car. Y'all switch right in front of my house. And you talking about shooting me. Not only that. Not only that. Nigga. When both of us was down. When you was down. Who helped you? When I was down. Who helped me? Motherfucker. We helped each other. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck. You go motherfucking. Threaten somebody that held you down in your worst times. And you held them down in their worst times. Nigga, you should at least be mature enough to be friends. We not mature enough to be motherfucking friends, motherfucker. You got to threaten me because you all in your feelings. And why is you all in your feelings about me? And you got a motherfucking woman that you about to marry. That you about to take to motherfucking Burrow Beach next in two more weeks. The motherfucker told me, oh, I'm going to be gone for two weeks. Me and Oga, I said, okay, you and Oga enjoy your trip. He going to say, yeah, thanks, we will. But you steady antagonizing and worrying about what the fuck I'm doing. Some ain't right about that picture. And I just don't trust. I just don't trust that last threat that you made. I just don't trust that threat. Like, I think that's the threat right there to just like really just like cut our friendship. Because from now on, I'm going to keep one eye open on your motherfucking ass. I don't trust you. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't make too many motherfucking threats. And why? Why? I wish I could catch this shit on real motherfucking tape. So y'all can see this whole ass shit. And then I got my friend over here talking about some oh uh, motherfucker. Let me tell let me tell motherfucker something. This is go for my roommate too. I don't I got two I got two 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 I'ma call them my children. 
They're my children. I got two kids at my house. I live in a predominantly white neighborhood. I do not want... Pink, be quiet. Be quiet. I do not want no motherfucking drama at my fucking house. What the fuck make you think that I want, like, people coming to sh shoot up my motherfucking garage and my kids stay here? Don't y'all know, excuse me, bullets ain't got no name. What if that bullet ricocheted and hit the fucking side of the house and went straight through my son room and shot my son? Like, you motherfuckers just don't give a fuck when it comes to you and yours. But I give a fuck. But you're not about to do that shit at my house. You're not even about to. You, you really just need to just hurry up and do your half and go. Because this shit right here, this shit ain't working out at all. This shit is like. It, it's, it's fucked up. It's so dysfunctional. You got a whole fucking woman. What the fuck is you worried about me for? And I swear to God, I'm going to start getting this shit on motherfucking tape so y'all can see this shit because this shit just be unreal sometimes. Like, I'm going to start cutting on the camera. Put motherfuckers on blast. Maybe that's what the fuck y'all need. Y'all want to be, y'all. everybody want to be famous. I can make you famous. I can make you real famous. Show y'all goofball activity you got going on. Sounding real stupid at times. I'm going to shoot up your motherfucking garage. What kind of shit is that? What you going to shoot up my garage for? What is your What is your purpose? Um, Are you feeling threatened or something? Nobody threatened you. Nobody said shit to you. I got my car and I motherfucking left. What the fuck you, what the fuck you want to shoot me for? That's some that's some that's some whole ass jealousy shit. That's some whole ass if I can't have you nobody can bullshit. I wanna do your bitch know about that. Wonder do she know that you up here talking about threatening me because I got niggas over my house, but you supposed to be her woman. You supposed to be worrying about her and what the fuck she doing, not me and what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not your concern no more. Only thing we got in common left over is these bills, this account, and this our cell phone, and um, this car note. Because if I don't pay the car note, they're going to garnish you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want that to happen. So, of course, I want to pay the car note. And guess what? If that happens, that's going to affect you and her. I don't have to deal with the car note no more. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not shysty like you, and I wouldn't do that. So... I'm, that's that's not even in my vocabulary to do some whole ass shit like that. But I'm just saying, if I want to think like you, I would do some whole ass shit like that. Whole ass niggas, man. Whole ass niggas. Whole ass niggas. Whole ass niggas. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. We are not safe. Black women, you won't get married because there's too many whole ass niggas out here acting like bitches. Y'all motherfuckers supposed to be running around here with dick and balls. Y'all bitches running around here with pussies and bleeding vaginas. Then we made an agreement on the dog thing. And then it's another thing that I think is real shysty as hell. Okay, of course, people's feelings may change over the years. You want, you may not be in love with that person that you once was. But one thing, if you got kids involved, if you got kids involved, for you to just turn your back. On the motherfucking kid that you've been taking care of since this kid was like nine months. Yes, my roommate has been in my kid's life basically his whole life. You know what I'm saying? And now he's getting to ask me questions. And I just don't know how to answer them questions because my roommate is being a dickhead. He don't know even though me and you don't get along. You know what I'm saying? My baby still asks me questions about you. Just like when we was on the phone. I had to hang up. First thing my baby said, mommy, why you hang up on so-and-so? You know what I'm saying? And and I don't want to draw. He too young to be mixed in with the drama. But the only thing he know is, is so-and-so is here. And if he leaves, he's going to be mad that he left. This motherfucker don't get two fucks. That's sad as hell that you got a kid that care about you, but you don't even care about the kid. But you worried about a nigga in a garage, but you ain't worried about your woman that's coming to pick you up this weekend that you go spend your whole weekend with and that you taking out of town two weeks from now. Not once did you think about the little kid that the, the little kid caught in the middle that loves you. 
See, this is why I don't. This is why this is a perfect example of why you do not introduce your kids to your male friends or your female friends because motherfuckers is temporary. And with a little kid, a little kid doesn't understand that. They don't see temporary. They don't see things like that because their mind is not tainted. Their minds is pure and innocent. It's us that put that old tainted shit and, and do that shit to them. It's us. We, we fuck the kids up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying so hard to make sure that my baby have, know that he is loved by everybody. I pr- try to protect him so much. So, so much. I don't want him to see none of the shit that I do. I try to keep it strictly professional. You know? But it's whatever. I just had to tell that story. I'm going to get this shit on tape. Watch. Soon as that motherfucker come in. Matter of fact, we got to have agreement. I think the agreement should be put on video. I don't think the agreement should be put on a motherfucking piece of paper. Because paper and pencil don't matter. But being on video, that matters. So if this motherfucker, if you watch this video... For us to make our agreement, we're going to have to make a video agreement. Because that's the only thing I'm trusting. I don't trust your ass. I don't trust your ass. I don't trust your ass. For you to say that you're going to shoot me through my garage. And you know my kids is here. And you know my son back room is right by that garage. You didn't give two fucks about. You didn't even think about that shit when that shit came out your mouth. Like, damn, motherfucker. Ain't none of these hoes been around to help you out. You got this one bitch ogre that just came up and fucking fucked you a couple of times and she got some tight pussy and she's skinny and you all like fuck fuck your little stepson you go shoot me through the garage nigga you you need prayer that's that's what you need and i'm gonna pray for you i really am and this video was just for you